What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to leverage the data from your smart lead account to create custom weekly reports that you can send to either yourself or your different clients. And so to start, I'm going to be showing this automation right here, but I'll also be showcasing these two other automations over here that I also use for my agency. And I'll also be showing you how to design these emails. And this is probably the place that we should start as it's, it's the beginning, right? It's the, it's the most important thing. So I'm using a tool called befree.io, but many, many other tools work. And the idea here is that we can design an email that is unique to our own business, right? And so I'm changing the colors over here to make this email look the way that I want it to look. I'm also changing the banner right? I've got a banner over here that I can change the email to. So let me remove this um, banner and we don't have an image anymore. We can also change the rows to have different things. And so if I want to have something else inside my email, I can change that. But if you recall, this is how I've decided that I want my email to look. And the main thing you're trying to accomplish with these emails is have these different variables which we are going to be filling with data from smart lead. And so getting into the automation, this is what it looks like. It's super, super simple. Um, and I'll be going through every single component to show you how you can build it yourself. So the first thing you're going to need to do is use this URL endpoint right here, which is going to get every single one of your campaigns and you need to choose the method get after which we're going to be iterating through all of the that data to parse out um, each and every single campaign one by one. And after that, we want to get the campaign analytics. And so I've used the URL endpoint right here, which is get all campaign analytics, all top level analytics. But you can also opt to use something like this, which is get campaign top level analytics by date range. And the date range that you can choose is past seven days, past 14 days, past 30 days. It's really up to you. You can choose the date range and the output of that data, regardless of whether you're using the all time analytics or a date range a module like that is going to be very similar. And from that, we're aggregating all of that data into a table. And at this point, it's probably worth to start to show you how all of this works. So I'm going to run this once and we're going to see how it's going through every single one of my campaigns. And then after it's gone through every single one of the campaigns. So this aggregator, this is ensuring that every single campaign is being looked at together. So this iterator split this all campaigns into seven different runs. So we go from one, one, seven, and then the aggregator brings it all back together. And how it's bringing it all back together is using, is it looks like this. So it's grabbing all of the analytics and then putting them into a text like this. And this text is formatted in this manner because we use this chat GPT module to analyze all of that data. So this is this is uh, my prompt, right? Analyze this JSON file. And my prompt basically says, take all of this data that looks like this and convert it into a JSON format. And so it outputs something like this, but I ask for it to output one thing. And then from there, I use the JSON module, simply pasting the chat GPT output and I ask it to iterate through it. So now I'm able to see how every single one of my campaigns in aggregate are performing from an email sent perspective, prospects contacted, reply count, positive count. And then the next thing we do, the last thing that we need to do is we need to add all of that information in this Gmail module. And this Gmail module is containing all of the email content. And by the way, where we found the email content for this, this module is in this design free tool. Like I said, you can use any of them. It doesn't matter. And how we do that is we export. So when I click export, um, you need to copy the HTML, right? So copy the HTML. 
And now we've got all of the HTML files. So let me actually copy this HTML code and bring it in this section over here. So I'm going to paste it. And now how you find out how to change it, I'm going to look for this 4,100. So we have generated 4,100. And then I'm going to do control F, search for 4,100. We found that. So 4,100 is going to be the main headline. And I'm going to change that to be 8,996. I'm going to change that there. And then we have generated, this one says leads. I'm going to change the leads to actually, uh, let me not overly complicate it, right? Let's, let's find one, two, three. So one, two, three, and we'll change this as well. And then we'll, we'll end it here. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, we're going to change it with two, seven, nine. That's all we're going to, uh, let me change it to, yeah, two, seven, nine for now. That's all we're going to change. So let's do this again, right? So the title of this is smart lead video, how to create weekly reports. Um, and then we're going to go through all of the data and we're going to be creating this really ugly email. <laughs> um, and let's go back into our email account. So back, we've got nothing over here. And now the email has just been created and we have sent it over to our inbox. And when we refresh, uh, there's two messages now. And when we scroll down, we've got that email, right? And by the way, like we didn't have the image at the top, so it didn't register, but we've got all of this other data. And remember the 8996, the 279, 21, 45, 45, that stayed the same over here. And so that's basically how you can create weekly client reports. Simply design an email and then uh, modify that email. Now, one thing that you can consider doing is having a client database. A client database allows you to map every single one of your smart lead clients to email recipients. And so knowing this client, we've got one email, two email, we can have as many emails as we want. And we can simply add another module over here, which adds the different recipients, right? So it adds all of the different recipients. And I have that done inside my agency. And so whenever I'm sending an email to an agent, to my clients, I've got the recipients module over here, which sends it to a bunch of different clients. And so this is another way to do it. I use uh, a Loom-based reporting, which grabs all of those campaigns, uh, allow, sends me a Slack notification that allows me to create a Loom video. So in this, in this email, this report right here, you would also be able to see a video. So there would be a video over here. But I'm not going to overly complicate it. I just wanted to show you guys that this is also another way you can build these automations. But I hope this was helpful. Um, I know a lot of you guys want weekly client report. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Cheers.